Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our, Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Welcome to our series of videos where we walk you through the home buying process in Portugal. Now, if you watched our first video, we focused on everything you should know about buying a house before you even think about buying a house here in Portugal. And in this video of this series, we are going to be focusing on the different areas of Portugal and we're going to show you what $200,000 can buy you in those different areas. Now, as part of this series, we also have a huge reveal to make for you in the future. So make sure that you follow this series through the end so we can share that reveal with you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We talk about retiring here in Portugal. We also talk about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial independence and retiring here in Portugal like we did. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. So in this video, we are gonna try to break it down for you guys. We are not only gonna show you what $200,000 can get for you here in Portugal, but we're also gonna talk about the areas in more detail. And at the end of the video, we are gonna share with you some tips on how you can narrow your search here in Portugal to find the best place for you. So if you're not familiar with Portugal, Portugal actually has seven different regions. But for purposes of this video, we are gonna focus on four different regions, and then we're also gonna narrow it down even more, and we're gonna talk about a specific city in those regions. So we're gonna talk about the northern region of Portugal, we're gonna talk about the central region, and we're gonna talk about Lisbon and its surrounding area, and then we're also gonna talk about the Algarve, which is the southern region of Portugal. So first, we're gonna start off with the northern region of Portugal. So the city that we're going to focus on in northern Portugal is Porto. Now, northern Portugal is the most populous region in Portugal. It has more than 3.5 million people. And Porto and its surrounding urban area is the main population center. Porto and the surrounding urban area has more than 1 million people living in it. And the actual city limit of Porto there is about 200,000 people. So there's so much history in this region. It has really beautiful little towns and villages. And northern Portugal is really a mountainous area. It's famous for its wine and its region has that warm Mediterranean climate. And the coast is really hot and warm. But the winters can be cold and rainy. When we were first considering a city to move to, Porto was going to be that city. <laughs> it had everything that we wanted. I mean, there's a major airport, a major sports team. It has international schools and the healthcare is amazing. It has a really strong infrastructure of public transportation. And that was big to us because we don't own a car. So Porto was at the top of our list when we were looking for places to go. So in Porto, $200,000 can actually get you a lot. So you can see here all of the different options you can get with $200,000 in Porto, and it's quite a bit. If you're interested in getting a flat in the heart of the city, $200,000 can get you something like this. Or if you wanna get a single family detached house, you have to go out of the urban area and into the suburbs. But $200,000 can also get you something as nice as this. It really all depends on which part of Porto you would like to live in. So really, as can be expected, since Porto is a major city, as you get closer to the center of Porto, the homes are gonna be more expensive, but $200,000 can still get you a nice place. As you start moving out more to those suburban areas right outside of Porto, you can actually get more house for even cheaper. So that is Porto. Let's move further south to central Portugal. And I got to tell you, I love central Portugal. It is the best kept secret of Portugal <laughs> is what is going on in central Portugal because all along the center of Portugal, you have some amazing little towns and all the way out to the coast, which is called the Silver Coast, you have some of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen. So we think central Portugal, if we would have known more about central <laughs> Portugal when we first got to Portugal, we probably would have moved there because it is amazing. So let's go over some quick facts about central Portugal. It has about 2.5 million people living in central Portugal. And some of the major cities include Coimbra, Lira, Castelo Branco, Cavilha, and Guarda. 
One of the amazing things about central Portugal is the landscape and the natural wonders that are throughout this part of Portugal. I mean, there are so many lakes. The ground is considered some of the most fertile in all of, Re in, in all of Portugal. And you can tell that when you drive around and you see the abundance of fruits and vegetables growing on people's land. So one of the nice things about central Portugal is that you can access Lisbon and you can access Porto very easily when you live in central Portugal. Now, one of the cons to that though, is it doesn't have the same infrastructure or the same city type feel that you would have if you're living in Lisbon or if you're living in Porto. Now, out of the four different regions that we're going to go over in this video, central Portugal has the most affordable housing. If you're looking at what you can get for $200,000, so let's start talking about the housing in central Portugal. It was very hard for us to pinpoint one city in this region mm -hmm. because there are so many great areas. And it was hard for us to decide between being more inland or along the coast. There are cities like Coimbra, Tomar, but finally we decided on Nazaré. And Nazaré is beautiful. It is right along the central coast. Now $200,000 can get you some amazing choices in Nazare. And so what we have on the screen now are some of the options that you can buy for $200,000. A $200,000 home is lower than the average cost of a home in the United States. But if you look at buying a $200,000 home in Nazare, you get that home right along the beach. You can walk to the beach, you have quick, access to a beach for only $200,000. And we think that is an amazing price considering the location. Nazare is considered a tourist destination. So in the summertime, the population triples. <laughs> so that is something that you have to take into consideration. But throughout the rest of the year, it's a nice quiet area. Let's move on to the next region that we're focusing on this video, and that is the Lisbon region. That is actually where we live right now. So in Lisbon, there is so much vibrance to this city. There is an incredible infrastructure. There are subways and metro lines that can connect you throughout Lisbon and through the outer areas of Lisbon as well. The city is always alive and moving here in Lisbon, and we love Lisbon. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Lisbon, we're just going to list off some quick Quick facts. So Lisbon has a region of about 3 million people in this area and it's a very dense area. And the city of Lisbon is the capital and the largest city in Portugal with a population in the city of about a half a million people. And Lisbon is known for its finance, its commerce, media, entertainment, arts, international trade, education, and its tourism. And it also has sports teams, it has a major airport, it has incredible food and great hospitals. But Lisbon is more expensive. And based off of all the regions that we're going to talk about, Lisbon is one of the most expensive places to buy a home. So if you look at the screen, this is a type of home that you can get in Lisbon. And as you can see, it's much smaller. And in Lisbon, you really have to be focused on apartments if you're looking at spending $200,000, as opposed to if you go to the outskirts of Porto, or if you go to central Portugal, you can actually get a detached home with more land. So in Lisbon, if you're looking to spend $200,000, dollars you really have to have your eye on looking for apartments so let's say you want to take advantage of living in lisbon but you don't want to pay the price tag to live in the city there are some great cities on the outskirts so some cities you should look at are centra oraish cascais and across the bridge in alamaira and caparica but again, if you're really looking for that city life, then Lisbon is the place for you. And like we said, you can really find a really great place for $200,000 in the city of Lisbon. So we wanted to also mention some of the areas or some of the neighborhoods that we like in Lisbon. So we like Avenidas Novas, Estrela, Campo Pequeño, Campo de Aric, Belim, and Benefica. Now, I know some of you are going to be criticizing Christina's pronunciation <laughs> because she's not as good as me. But <laughs> those are the neighborhoods that we like the most in Lisbon. One of the things you have to be careful about is that every neighborhood in Lisbon varies extremely. So when you do your research, make sure that you come to Lisbon and you get a real feel for the neighborhoods by walking around, maybe renting for a bit in Lisbon because there can be some extreme changes per neighborhood. 
Now let's talk about the last region, the Algarve. <laughs> we love this part of Portugal. In fact, when we first came to Portugal in 2005, the Algarve was where we landed. We lived in Spain and we would come over to Portugal for vacation. And this is where we fell in love with Portugal. But a lot has changed since 2005. Not a lot of people knew about the Algarve in 2005, but now it is often highlighted as one of the best places in the world to retire. So there is a lot of information out there on retiring or moving to the Algarve. So let's go over some major facts about the Algarve region. Now the population in the Algarve is much smaller. It's only about 410,000 people. But like we said, over the summertime or over these holiday periods in the Algarve, it tends to explode. So some of the main holiday destinations in the Algarve include Albufera, Faro, Lagos, Sagres, and Silva. And the Algarve is all about beaches and beach access, and it has great weather for that. So over the summer, weather can reach up to 35 degrees Celsius. And then in the winter time, the average temperature is about 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. So it's a lot less, but it's not freezing. And like Aman said, the Algarve is consistently ranked as one of the best places in the world to retire. So the city that we focused on in the Algarve is called Tavira. It's very close to the Spain border and with Tavira, you can also access those beaches. So if you look here, you can see the amount of home that you can get for $200,000, which is again to us, it's an incredible price because you can still access the beach from this type of city and have these types of homes for $200,000. So now that we've gone over all of these regions, we actually love all of these different regions in Portugal and we love exploring them and finding more and more things out about these specific regions. So if you've been watching this video, you might start thinking about how do I narrow down my search? How do I decide which region to buy a house in? So we have some tips and some things that you should consider when you're thinking about which region to purchase a house in. So the first tip is to focus on a location that you can see yourself being active every single day. This location should be more than just about the house. It should be more about the things that you can do outside of the house. If you are really interested in farming and having your own homestead, then you should be looking at an area that has a lot of land, that has things for you to do in the outdoors. But if you are all about the city life and you like to go out and you like to go to the theater, to the museums, then you should be looking at the city. But make sure that you pick a place that interests you beyond just the house. But you do also want to focus on housing type. So that's another thing that will help you narrow down your search. If you're thinking about housing type, you've got to think about whether or not you'd be happy living in a condo, in a townhouse, in a detached home. Do you want neighbors next to you? Do you want a lot of space? Because that will help narrow down the search. Like we said, if you're looking in Lisbon and you're looking to spend $200,000, you will likely be in an apartment. But if you're looking in the outskirts of Porto, if you're looking in central Portugal, you can have more space. So you have to think about the housing type that you want when you're searching for a home. The next thing to consider is accessibility. How close you want things, not just your neighbors, but how close you want these amenities that are outside and available to you. So for example, we live here in Lisbon and we have three grocery stores that are all in walking distance to us. We have tons of restaurants all within walking distance to us, even a mall that we can walk to. So these are all things that are available to us because we live in Lisbon. But if we live in the outskirts, if we live in central Portugal, for example, those things won't be accessible to us. So that's something that you have to think about. What is the accessibility of things that you need and how close do you want them to your home? So accessibility is all relative, but Christina makes an excellent point. If you want to walk to the grocery store, you can't do that in central Portugal in some of the areas. In Nazaré, you probably can do that if you live in the center of Nazaré, near the beach, along the coast, in one of the tourist areas. But if you're more in the villages outside of Nazaré, you will need a car. You just can't walk to the grocery store. You could, but you'll be walking for a very long time. This is a really important point because it's going to dictate the type of region that you choose to focus on. 
And the last thing you want to consider is expat support. Now, some people that move to Portugal, they may have culture shock and they want to be surrounded by other expats. If you want to be surrounded by other expats, the Algarve is a great destination for you. It has a very high expat population. But if you really want to immerse yourself in the Portuguese culture and really feel that Portuguese lifestyle, maybe the Algarve isn't something that you want to focus on. But you really have to think about how you plan on moving and integrating into Portuguese society. So those are the regions in Portugal that we like. Of course, go out and do your own research and continue to watch this series because coming up, and Christina won't let me say when, <laughs> we have a huge reveal that is going to be related to this series. So please, if you like this series, as usual, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey.